Mr. Speaker, I, 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 want, I, I want to really speak from my heart. And in speaking from my heart, I was always told that in science, when you want to reach an objective, like you want to go to Mars, and you want to go to the moon, you know the objective of where you want to go, then you can re-synchronize the pathway to, to where you want to go. I, I am totally disappointed today because we don't know where we're going. And I want to go look at these figures seriously to think whether the point we are trying to make, we are making it. Mr. Speaker, there used to be a ruler in Uganda called Idi Amin. Idi Amin was given MiG planes from the Soviet Union. And when he got those MiG planes, he thought he was so powerful. And he decided to, 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 to attack Tanzania. Because he had those many MiGs. Nyerere was a very civil, very humble leader. Amin was a field marshal. He was not even a general. And he thought with this mix, he could attack Tanzania and succeed. Lo and behold, when it counted, when it counted, Amin was on the run. Amin on the run. I've been pleading with members I could talk to that let us be smart, like Justice Odunga says, let's be like a guided missile. Look at what you want to achieve before we engage in the debate. And I want to point at the figures as they are in relation to this motion that has been put before us. Seriously, can we discount the fact that the figures, the way they show, and I, I, I'm looking at, at them sequentially, the CRA, and I'm looking at the committee. And I'm looking at the places where we are told they have big populations, beginning with Bungoma. I can tell you if population was the basis upon which we were using the parameter, Bungoma is not getting what it deserves if you are using population. And the senator for Bungoma has decided that is irrespective of the question of population, he wants a middle way, middle ground. People who want peace must look for the middle ground. If you look at what Kiambu is getting, looking at the figures, population, they are not getting what they deserve, including Nairobi. Nairobi is not getting what they deserve. And Senator Sakaja, I support your patriotism. Because if it was on population, we'd not be talking today. And Nairobi has poverty. I mean, you can go to Mandera and find somebody with a toilet where to go. But in Nairobi, there are people who don't have toilets where to go. So I, I want us to be frank with each other. And I was trying to offer a way out when I was asking for that adjournment. Look at what this means, the figures. Ketui was going to lose one billion. Ketui was going to lose one billion. Not tomorrow, not the next financial year. It was going to lose it now. Through Senator Kangata's Amendment, Kitui for three years is not going to lose that one billion. That's the fact. They are not going to lose that one billion. Look at, look at uh, Wajir. And I speak for Wajir more than even the senator for Wajir. I've been there to talk about the people who are murdered and persecuted in Wajir. When I was going there, I was arrested. I slept in a cell in Wajir talking about the people who have been killed through violence by the police and by the military. Now, if you look at Wajir, Wajir was going to lose two billion shillings, not tomorrow, now. 
And through Senator Gangata's motion, uh, amendment, they are not going to lose two billion now. They are not going to lose two billion next year. In the third year, they're not going to lose two billion. Compared to CIA, what do I get in CIA? It is not in terms of billions. CIA does not talk in terms of billions. Let us be serious. In CIA, we don't talk about billions. We are talking about 100 million, 10 million. Look at some of the counties. Even you talk about Lamu, they are talking about 100 million. We have lost our minds with respect. We have lost our minds. And I was trying to look for a way forward where we can sit together as a people to decide where we go. Now, Mr. Speaker, I can go through these figures. You look at uh, Machakos. Machakos was going to lose. And you know Machakos is one of the growth centers. Machakos is one of the growth centers. A lot of development that is taking place in this republic is in Machakos. If you drive on this road, on Mombasa Road, before you get to the airport, you're already in Machakos. Machakos was going to, not to lose, but it was getting a minimal increase, which does not reflect what is happening in that county of Machakos. But the senator for Machakos, because of what Kitui and Makwenya are losing, he said, I'm dying with my brothers. And the governor had the audacity to go out and say that Machakos, the senator, has given away more than a billion. He's using it as a campaign strategy. So me, me today, Senator Murkomen, I am proud of you. Because you can stand up. You can stand up. A lot of people cannot stand up. Because you said, I am gaining, but in this one, I'm not going to support. I'm not going to support. Me and Sia, I'm gaining, but I'm saying I'm not going to support because Kenya is one nation. Look at the preamble of the Constitution is Kenya, of Kenya is saying we are one indivisible, indivisible nation. We are one indivisible nation. Now, when we are looking at this thing you are trying to do here, we are trying to make Kenya counties. We are trying to make Kenya tribes. The other day I was, t t I was being told about, you know, which tribes are gaining and which tribes are losing. Me, I think, I think, really, Mr. Speaker, I want to say this from the bottom of my heart. Some people, and, and Kibaki, I, there's no leader, actually, one of the leaders I admire in this country is Senator Kibaki. Senator Kibaki would talk, but at the end of the day, when he was looking at the gallery, you, uh, Sen uh, President Kibaki, you look at the gallery and, and, and begin to talk to the nation from the gallery. And the, the, the thing that President Kibaki did, probably no other president will be able to do it. I, I am not ashamed of saying that. I am advising the current president to be more accessible for us to be enabled us to solve these problems. We would not have been here if it was more accessible. I'm telling you without being afraid. I'm not saying it for me. I'm saying it for the country. But on this one, I agree with you. I know where I said, Mutola, I, I, I respect you, my, my son. I really respect you. But on this one, let us be wise. Let us be wise. Senator Waitangula came with something which was fantastic. We should have listened to it. And we rubbished it. And we're in this situation now. Now, I was being called out here to say that we should have another adjournment. I should ask senators to disappear because they can see how the vote is coming now. They can see it. They can see it. The moment has come. The moment has come. And when we want to count votes now, the chest thumping will stop because it's a count. 
But I want to conclude by saying I was with Senator Haji this morning because I respect him. This morning, to find out what is the best way forward. So, this young man called Senator Kangata, he was my student. He learned his politics through me. He has said things that I can't agree with. He has annoyed me in the last one month. But today he came to me, I'm biting the bullet. I want a middle ground. And for that I respect you, Kangata, because for what you've said, nobody will believe you'd take this position. So uh, let me know to make it long. I support this amendment. Because in this amendment, nobody is losing. And if anybody is losing, I want him to stand up and show me where he's losing. And he's not losing this year. He's not losing next year. He's not losing in the third year. Why, why are you messing up by misleading people? Nobody is losing. Nobody should lose. And nobody should lose. I respect Senator Sakaja, but I've been through this morning simulations. You know, let me tell you, Mr. Speaker, this, these parameters, these parameters, they are not mathematical absolutes. These parameters, when we talk about a parameter on health, is not on the basis that it's a mathematical absolute. It's a variable. Yeah, so Senator Sakaja can change his variable, somebody else can change his variable. And you end up with a different result. I want to convince the people from the coast, I am with you, I'm dying with you, you're losing no cent. The people from Mandera, you are losing no cent. And finally, tell Governor Mutua, Governor Mutua, there's nobody as patriotic as Senator Kabaka. Kabaka Machakos is not losing any money. For him to come and tell the country and in Machakos that Machakos is losing any money. Machakos is not losing a coin. And I used to practice in Machakos as a lawyer. So today, let us be brave and pass the amendment by Senator Irungu Kangata. You have annoyed me, but you have uh, now, you have now come back to life. So you are my true trainee. 